Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, this time it will be this glass bottle tutorial. Um, it will be split in two parts and without further ado, let's go. So starting by deleting everything from the scene. And we are going to add the image reference uh, to have a guideline for our own bottle. So I chose this um, moonshine uh, style bottle. Now let's adjust the opacity for the image so we can we can align it with the grid. And let's start by adding a circle with um, 10 vertices. Uh, this will be important a little bit later on when we are creating handle. Now let's adjust reference image to sit behind our circle. Let's go into our um, edit mode for circle and fill it in. Now let's add subdivision modifier and increase the levels viewport to 2. Let's extrude the main body of the bottle. Let's add first five cuts. And then let's add another extra loop cut at the bottom and slide it down close to the bottom edge to sharpen up the edge. Let's go into X-ray mode to select loop cut. So let's uh, scale these two loop cuts. Let's move the loop cut third loop cut from the bottom a little bit down and now let's shape the top loop cut to create more spherical tapering in use proportional editing for this press s to scale and shift z to exclude z axes we can adjust the shape to be more like image Make sure you select the whole circle by Alt left click or going into X-ray mode and selecting whole. Now let's extrude the little um, taper for the neck part. Let's scale it to the size we desire. Now let's extrude the main um, part of the neck and add extra loop cuts. Now let's add another loop cut just to give extra geometry to shape the neck bottom part. Use proportional editing to allow shape to be more organic. Now let's select the top part of the neck and scale it. Now let's add another loop cut shape up the top of the neck. I am adding extra loop cuts to um, indicate the part of the screw top. Let's create uh, the second ridge that you can see in the reference image and scale the middle loop cut. Let's 
Let's move it slightly up on the Z axis. Select faces um, for the handle on the X axis and now extrude them. Now press scale, um, lock it to X axis and press zero to even faces out. Now select the edges of the handle, press scale, um, lock it to Y axis and press zero to even edge out. And do the same for the other side as well. Now scale them slightly in on Y axis. And let's start shaping with proportional editing circular shape of the handle. Now let's add uh, two loop cuts in the handle part and one horizontal loop cut to create uh, faces that we will be deleting. Now let's delete the faces uh, where the handle would go. And join the edges by using fill function. Or you can use uh, loop tools uh, bridge function. Now we have joined all the faces. Let's slide the inner top edge down create more circular shape and let's slide down the whole um, edge as well and merge by distance to um, purge all duplicate edges. Now we can do some more shaping of the handle until we are satisfied with the shape. we can purge all the unnecessary geometry. Let's add a loop cut in the middle of the handle and extrude the central axis slightly up to create more circular shape. Let's add another loop cut to sharpen up the screw top area. Now let's separate the selection of the screw top so we can shape it. We will delete subdivision modifier from this part and add some extra loop cuts and add simple deform modifier. Let's let's switch it to Z axis. Uh, type in 270 degrees. Select 
approximately evenly spaced out three axes and scale them um, by excluding Z axis. Apply simple deform and s scale it on the z-axis. Delete the subdivision modifier from the screw top part as we are joining uh, both parts together by Ctrl J. Now we have a gap between both parts. We close this gap by selecting edge and fill it in uh, by using fill function or F for shortcut. Now once we have joined uh, both parts together, we can adjust um, the bottom part of the screw top by rotating it on Z axis just slightly to even out the geometry. can now delete the top faces now let's select those three points that we extruded for the screw top and scale them back so it looks about circular and cylindrical now we can Select the whole edge and extrude it slightly up to create a tiny lip. We can add solidify modifier and move it before subdivision modifier. more sharp select both top um, circles for the lip and scale it slightly down excluding Z axis again
now we need to create the little bottom uh, convex shape. We are adding some extra geometry and some extra loop cuts and merge it in center. Now using proportional editing, we will extrude uh, bottom part on Z axis. Due to extra geometry on one of the faces, it's not extruding uh, completely symmetrically, but we can adjust that vertices by selecting that vertices, moving them on Z axis down, deselecting proportional editing. are done with the main shape of the bottle. Join me in the second part where I will show you how to create this realistic glass material. Um, subscribe, um, uh, leave a comment uh, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.